Hello guys, welcome back to another YouTube video with Tank Group today, and today we're doing, well boys and girls, I'm glad that you asked, because we're back on ARC's Why We Evolve, that's right, and what we're doing on ARC, well I'm glad that you didn't tell fast, because we're doing another mod review, that's right boys and girls, another mod review, again another mod I gotta say, it's a really awesome mod, now, I'll probably say this to every mod I um, basically did, um, just because I do like all these mods, and I do have something else to say too about this mod. Um, this mod is actually a pretty old mod. It's one of the one of the few oldest mods in the game of Ark Survival Evolve. Uh, but yeah, definitely it's something that if you do want to uh, grab it, like all these mod reviews, I'll be leaving a link down below so that way you guys can go ahead and pick it up for yourself and try it out. But I do must keep in note that if you are going to try this mod out. You must have this mod on the top of your mod uh, list. If you do not have it on top of your mod list, you will not be able to have access to craft the bin the uh, crafting station, which is behind us, along with a few other different types of uh, materials. Or if you just want to mess with this mod and see how it is within um, Creo by yourself in creative mode. Um, you still would need a mod to be on top of everything else if you do have other mods installed. But I hope you are planning on playing this mod in Jitly, because don't worry. Um, whenever I get a chance, I'm definitely going to be doing a playthrough series of this mod. But I hear something you say, but Tank, what mod is this? What's, what's the name? Well, both if the thumbnail doesn't give away and the description doesn't give away, it's called Extinction Core. Now, this is one of the oldest mods. Um, we're going to be doing the next one, um, next mod review coming up here soon. Uh, <laughs> the other one's going to be different as well than this, but they're both made by the same mod developer. Um, but very awesome mod if you do want to try them out. They do come with some very cool stuff, and this one does come with little NPCs, uh, along with a bunch of these other creatures behind us. I uh, just found a few different creatures. But there is tons more to cover within this mod, so I don't think I can cover them all at one time. Um, they all get their own saddles. Uh, trust me, when I first uh, put this mod into the world, I didn't have it on top of all my other mods, so I was kind of confused. So do keep in mind that you must have this as your very first mod. If it's not your very first mod on your list of mods, it will not work. You will not be able to craft the, sta uh, the crafting bench behind me and some of the status as well. So, do you keep that in mind, man? Well, let's get out of K mode here, boys and girls. I don't have no armor really on to really show you guys the uh, um, armor and stuff, but uh, this mod is a pretty decent sized mod. It does have a few different types of creatures here. Uh, we're going to go over some of the stats and all of that within each of the creatures and everything. But first, you have the wonderful workbench, which is for the Extinction Core mod, which it gets 300 slots. So, let's uh, access the um, workbench. Of course, like I said, 300 slots. Uh, we got the armors. We got different types of armors. And able to access these armors, you must kill... I, I, believe I could be wrong. Please miscorrect me if I am wrong about this. Um, you must kill different types of tribe uh, members. Yes, there will be tribe members and alpha tribe members out there in the wild. I think you have to kill the alpha ones to be able to unlock some of these, but there's different ones. We got the keratin, which, you know, it looks like we need a uh, stopping error, uh, primal hide, primal keratin and chitin, fiber, and a keratin leggings. Uh, to craft the primal character, and then we have the helmet, the same thing, along with the um, gauntlets, the boots, and the chest piece. These, you must kill at least the... I forget which one is it. Um, but you still have to kill at least a primal of this um, character and armor and rearing set to be able to get this set. Then we have the cloth set, which is the... Primal cloth, we need clo uh, cloth pants, emerald, and fiber just to craft that. Then we have the hat, the uh, gauntlets, uh, the boots, and the shark itself. Then we have the desert, um, right? Is this the desert? Yeah, desert clothing, 
we need for the primal desert clothing um desert clothing pants fiber primal hide primal pelt and sapphire sap sapphire why did, uh, okay i don't know <laughs> then we got the uh go go goggles we got the uh coarse gloves the boots and the shirt then we got the fur armor um we got the primal fur leggings or primal fur uh we need black pearls fiber uh fur leggings primal hide primal pelt and sapphire uh for these which looks like we have the hat the uh, gauntlets the boots and the shirt itself which is pretty nice then we got the uh chili uh which looks like we need for the primal chili is fiber chili leggings primal character in chitin and primal hide with sapphire as well again we got the uh mask we got the uh, gauntlets the boots and the shirt itself and then the hide armor we got the primal hide uh armor which looks like we need emeralds fiber hide pants and primal hide and woolly rhino horns and of course we got the hat the uh gloves the boots and the shirt itself then we got metal Come on, please come up. Thank you. <laughs> the uh, primal metal. We need black pearls. Ooh, oh, black pearls. That's pretty hard to get hold of, isn't it? Um, fiber, flak, leggings, primal hide, and rubies. Ooh, rubies. And then we got, of course, the helmet, the gauntlets, the boots, and the shirt itself. And then we have the riot armor. The primal riot armor. We need uh, amethyst. Amethyst? Black pearls, fiber, primal blood, prim, uh, primal hide, and riot leggings. And of course, we have the, the the helmet, the gauntlets, the boots, and the shirt itself. And then, last but not least, is the scuba diving kit. We have the scuba primal scuba diving kit. Uh, we need amethyst, amethyst, black pearls, fiber, primal hide, and scuba. Um, well, the different types of scuba for each one. But, of course, we got the, uh, mask, the, uh, flippers, and the tank itself. So, that is just the armor itself. And, I, like I said, I believe you have to kill certain types of, um, pr uh, prime, uh, tribes members. And now you can tame these guys as well. And I think you could still get them unlocked. That way, I, I'm not 100% certain about that. And if I am wrong about anything, please must correct me about anything within this video. Uh, but then we also have consumables drugs. We have the uh, oxygen vow, an extract supply of oxygen for you, creature, when you go exploring the depth of the sea. Ooh, that would be nice to have. It looks like what you need is blue gems, uh, rare mushrooms, and stimulants. Then we have the Vegetable Vow, the fructitic po potion to re recover the st uh, stamina of your creature. It restores 100% stamina, but it comes with a cooldown. Okay. Green gems, uh, rare flowers, and stimulants. Then we got the Blood Vow, a healing potion for mining the, uh, mending the wounded of your creature. It's a Restores 100% health, but at, it comes with a cause of a cooldown, of course. Okay, no more expect. A giant bee honey, uh, red gems, and stimulants. Then we have the sedative. Puts you in a deep narcotic state and makes you hungry. Oof, probably don't want that. Uh, hey, with the crafter, you need crystal, narcotics, rare flowers, rare mushrooms, and titan boa venom. Uh, and then we have not... One more thing, the deck stocks uh, removes all torpor when used without any uh, drawbacks. You need crystal, megalania toxin, rare flowers, rare mushrooms, and stimulants. So that is all the um, consumables within the mod. Uh, saddles, we got tons of different saddles. Uh, you know, we got the terror birds, we got the stego, we got the dickerses, circles, um, dire bearers. Mammoths, Tapasusas, Dodorex, 
right? The Durexi, I'm sorry, the Durexi. Um, Thorny Dragon, Dunkelosaurus, Procranodon, Ankylosaurus. Um, you know, you, you, you just got them all basically here. I'm probably not going to go over every single name of them, but we are going to go hovering over them. It looks like they do need some blood, primal blood, hide, or keratin, and these sapphires as well. And it looks, yeah, regular matter, and plus black pearls. Okay, black pearls, it looks like it's going to be used very often in this mod. I don't. I think there might be an easy way of getting black pearls for this mod, but I could be wrong. Uh, but it's still very nice um, to have an older mod like this if you're looking for something to spice up your ARC gameplay. Um, oh, this one looks like an easy Alpha Giga Nautosaur Skull. Huh. It must be a uh, mod thing, though, to get that. But these are different. all the different types of saddles that you can have. Um, of course, you can have different types of creatures. Then we got structures, we got crafting, we got, looks like, a tech organator. Um, looks like we need black pearls, crystal, element, metal ignits, and polymer to craft it. And then we also have the industrial forge. Uh, smith and paste, crystal, metal ignits, oil, and polymer to craft this. I'm not sure if this is, like, a special modern version. It might be. Then we have metal storage, and it looks like we have a safe. Uh, Smith and Paste, Metal Ignance, Oil, and Palmer. Again, I'm probably going to be messing with all of this when we do a actual playthrough series of this mod. But, uh, yep, there's so much to really go over. Uh, we got ammo. We got a reusable grapple hook. Looks like Smith and Paste, Fiber, Metal Ignance, Stone Arrows, and Thatch. Um, we have Tranquilizing Dodge, which looks like takes Metal Ignance, Narcotics, Simple Rifle Bullets. Then we have a Trank Spear Bolt. Uh, spear bolt, tranquilizing darts. Then we have a compound stun arrow, uh, angel gel, megalina toxin, and metal arrow. Then we have a compound fire arrow. Ooh, looks like it might shoot some fire. Uh, the charcoal, metal arrow, and oil. Then we have the compound tranquilizing arrow. Ooh, that, that would be nice to have to knock something out. Uh, biotoxin, metal agnets, and titan bow of venom. Okay. And then we have the Shark and Tranquilizing Dart, which is, I don't know if this is like a special modded version or not, it might be. But it looks like we need Biotoxin, Metal Magnets, and Simple Rifle and to Craft that one. So this is <laughs> a lot of cool things. Uh, you got like four different types of things to really knock creatures out, which I think you might need it for knocking out some of these modded creatures and stuff. Then we have Metal, we have a Tranquilizing Pike. Which you need Smith and Pace, Hide, Metal Agnet, Narcotics, and Wood to craft that. And then Mysticals, which looks like we get a Scissors, uh, Flint, Metal Agnet, and Obsidian to craft that. So, okay. And then we have this uh, Pure Wyvern Milk. Uh, Wyvern Milk and Exino Cable. Okay, I've never crafted that. Crafted that cable before in arc, so not sure what that type of uh, cable is. I usually don't deal with vanilla cable too much, but uh, there we go. That is everything within the bench itself. Um, that this is where you're gonna be crafting, of course, majority of your um, like saddles and all that. But uh, yeah, um, we're gonna start with these guys right here, and these are the different types of tribe mates. Um, you must kill the alpha for each of these guys to able to unlock their armor. And as you can see, each one does come with a different type of armor. So we're going to start from the scuba and work our way up. Uh, I didn't spawn in the keratin one and the fur. Um, I, there's a few of them I didn't spawn in, but I figured, you know, these few guys, plus all the the, the uh, creatures behind them is good enough. And they're all spawning as level one and two. Again, at, in your world, Depending on what difficulty you have your world set on, there might be higher levels. And uh, these guys will spawn in. But you do have to, like I said, you do have to make sure, boys and girls, that this mod is on your top of your mod list. If it is not, none of these things are going to spawn. You can't you craft the workbench behind me. You can't use none of the saddles. 
Uh, even if you're in creative mode, you cannot spawn in none of the saddles when you're in creative mode. Unless you use admin commands like spawn them in that way. But I don't know if it will work that way either or not. But if you just go in creative mode and just use your normal eye and come over here, none of this will be here. Uh, as you can see, there's also tech engrams as well for this mod. Uh, but this wouldn't be here. None of these modded items would be over here. So do you keep that reminder that you must have this as your number one mod on your list. So let's get right into it. So uh, let's bring out our awesome spry glass here and see what we got going for us. Sorry for that. <laughs> oh, what's, what's going with the arc? Okay, come on, get off. Okay, so we got the blue tribes mate. We got 300,000 health. Which I don't think you can ride these guys, no, but you can access their, their inventory. And like I said, 300.3 300 on health. Um, we got 102 stamina, 102 weight, 184.5 into melee, and 100 into movement speed as well. And yeah, this guy has like 39 levels. These are the blue tribes mates. And as you can see, they do have the. Uh, scuba diving kit so next we have the uh brown tribes mate which is the desert guys it looks like they are wearing the desert type of armor and he has arrows on his back he's using a bow well this guy's using a crossbow uh this guy has 400.3 into health and let's check out his other stats he has around 100 into stamina 100 into oxygen uh 100 into weight 184.5 into melee 100 into movement speed. Uh, what do you have in your oxygen? You don't have none. Uh, I guess it does make sense he doesn't have one uh, because he does have the scuba diving kit. So the blue tribesman is probably more if you want to go into the ocean and explore the ocean, maybe you can take these guys with you. Uh, these guys do have a oxygen bar, so they're probably not the best to take in the oceans, but maybe the best for desert fights. You seriously have to take a poo poo. Okay. Okay. Uh, next is the green transmitting. It looks like they're carrying, of course, the high armor with a bow as well. So, yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We forgot to look at her health. 300.3 uh, into health. So, that's not bad. Um, again, in your world, it might be a higher level. So, yeah. We have for stamina, 100 levels into stamina. 100 into oxygen, 100 into weight, 184.5 into melee, and 100 into movement speed as well. And that is, of course, the green tribes, mate. Uh, of course, there's, you know, you you will find different ones. Well, you please stop take a poops. You know, I am trying to make a video here. <laughs> um, next is the orange trimates. It looks like they're wearing the flak armor. And this one has 700.3 into health. And what about the rest of it that are stats? 100 into stamina, 100 into oxygen, 100 into weight, 184.5 into melee, and 100 into um, movement speed. Which, it looks like they all have the same um, leveling into their melee. But again, depending on their levels as well, when you find them out throughout the world and stuff. Um, I don't know. No, it looks like... You cannot take their armor off and give them new armor. So they do have to stay with the armor that they get. But it looks like we get a crossbow, a bow, and a bow, and a assault rifle for this one. Ooh, nice. Um, next, but last but not least, is the Black Crab's Mate. Uh, he has 800.3 into health. And what about the rest of his stats? 100 into stamina, 100 into oxygen, 100 into weight, 127.8 um, into melee, and 100 into movement speed. And it looks like he gets the electrical prod, I think that is? I really don't mess with that weapon in the arc. Huh, okay. But they all really do look pretty freaking cool. Let's get rid of the hub real, bit, real quick here. But look how cool these guys look. Now, like I said... There's a few other ones. There's one for the, um, the, the, uh, winter biome. Why am I pressing server circle for? <laughs> there is one for the winter biome, the ghillie one as well. 
and I th the cross one. Right? Yeah, the cross one, the ghillie, and the fur one are the three I think I'm missing out of them. Um, but you know, you get the respect of what they are and what they do, and by fighting their extreme, I believe it's the alpha versions of each one of these guys. Um, and if you kill them, you'll unlock their different uh, gear and stuff, so that do keep noted about that. But, let's talk about the dinosaurs now. I'm gonna start from this side and work my way over to there. We might actually go over there to the Yankee before we start on the Dragon, the Giga and all that, but, uh, no, yep, let's, let's go start on the Yankee and come back over here to the two small fires and then go... <laughs> You work our way over. I, 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 I know I'm a little bit uh, um, saying different things. Oh, you laid me egg. Thank you. Or, wait, is that poop or egg? Nope, that's poop. So we got the Alpha Anki. Um, we have 10,000.5 into health. And let's get on to his back. Of course, this thing gets a special starter. And I think this thing's also a little bit more speedier than standard regular Anki. But, uh, yeah, let's go into K mode a little quick and look how beautiful this creature is. I think this might be slightly bigger than vanilla. Um, all these creatures might be just slightly, a little bit bigger than vanilla creatures. But uh, still, we have a few different attacks. You know what? Maybe I could go into K mode. And we got the standard tail hit attack, the bite, uh, X does nothing, Z does nothing, shift, oh. Shift. And it looks like that's the only attacks we really get with this guy. But still pretty cool. Um, still basically your metal harvester. Uh, anything for space bar? Nope, nothing. So, it, it really does seem like a regular Anki. But there is something else that these guys all will do as well. And we're going to look at the different stats within their thing. But they all act like um, mobile smithies. So you can craft the, like, standard vanilla gear from a smithy within their inventory as long as you have um, all the materials within their inventory. Then you can go ahead and make some kind of, like, weapon, uh, like a uh, crossbow or anything that you really want. As long as you have the material to do it, you could actually do it. And uh, do it on all the alphas within the mods. So uh, that's a pretty cool ability right there. I like the idea. But uh, let's get right into this guy's stats. So we got 175 points into stamina, 150 into weight, and 224.5 into melee, and 175 points into movement speed. So yeah, this guy is moving a little bit more quicker than a standard vanilla Enki, uh, but still a very, very cool creature. Um, I mean, it's an Anki. At the end of the day, there, guys, it's still an Anki, but Ankies are metal harvesters. They are very good at metal. And if this is an Alpha, just think of how much metal you're getting out of your metal nodes as well. So, yeah. Um, let's go over here to the Trinidad. Now, let's work our way over here to all the way to the gigantic dragon. Um, so, yeah. We got the Trandron, and like I say, I think it's slightly bigger, but this is the Alpha Trandron. Uh, we have 3.8 thousand and two health. Um, and then let's ride it. Yeah. Let's go into K mode. I mean, it's a Trandron with the red grow of an Alpha, so... And you can tame these guys. You can tame them. Um, of course. Uh, but... Let's see his attacks. We got number regular bite. Nothing for that. Um, TV. Oop, what that is? Oh, my bad. Uh, space. Oh wait, yeah, space is to fly. We got of course number regular bite. Pick up, and that's basically it uh, for this Trinodon. Um, but I guess let's look at the stats as well. So let's go to. Wait, is it? Nope, it's F, not H. So, again, the Trandon acts like a normal smithy. I think these guys could... Also, if you put a standard vanilla smithy, I mean, saddle on these guys, they can act like, like this, like 
a smithy. Uh, it doesn't really matter what strategy I guess you put on them. I, I, I mean, I guess I'm using the modern version. I think so, <laughs> at least. But uh, still, the idea is there if you want to have a mobile smithy on your turn on. This case, if you want to make some weapons on the go, or ammunition, or just make a saddle, which is vanilla stuff. But still, it's really cool to have like a mobile smithy on a bunch of your creatures, uh, both the Anki, especially the Anki, because the Anki being metal. But the turn on, if you pump a good bit of levels into uh, weight, you can have your turn on really to craft anything you want. But the Trandron has 300 points into health, I mean, health, stamina, um, 450 into weight, 224.5 into melee, and 115 into movement speed. So it might be slightly faster as well. Of course, like I said, it's slightly bigger than a standard vanilla Trandron as well. So yeah, next is our Alpha Argentavis, which is your backbone in vanilla arc. But this thing has 5.5 thousand and two health. And let's get on her. And look at this beautiful beast. We are up off the side a little bit. But still, it really doesn't really matter, does it? We got the normal bite. Um, Z, that's nothing. X plus nothing. C. Of course, we can fly. No more attack. Pick up. All that awesome abilities and stuff. And now, let's look at this beautiful beast. And so, again, acts like a regular smithy. All these creatures mostly acts like a smithy. So, you, like I said, if, if you're used to any of these creatures and have metal or anything on you, you can just craft anything within their inventory. Uh, because I, well, RGs already, by vanilla standards, do act like a mobile smithy. But in this mod... Not only the RG does it, but the Anki, the Trandon, and I think the Rex. Every single creature basically will do this um, as well. But we have 750 into stamina, around 1,050 into weight, 184.5 in melee, and 100 into movement speed. And it looks like it's some reason getting somewhat darkish out. Oh wait, there we go. Uh, it's getting something out. Yeah. Okay. So that is the Alpha Trend, um, Alpha Trend, Alpha Argentavis. Next is the Dodo Rax. Oof, look how beastly this creature looks. Oh my goodness. I know I probably forgot to say it's, it's health, but dang, this thing is beautiful with the blue and the black. I like that so much. But let's get off it. And this thing has. 300,000 into health. So it's a pretty strong boy as a level one. But let's see, it's a different attacks. We got another bite. Fire blast. Z does nothing. X does. Oh, you summon minions. What are those? What are those? What are, what the fuck are those? Zomdodos. So you can summon in Zomdodos as minions or boys and girls. Zomdodos. So that's the D. No? Uh, v? No? X? Uh, Z? Okay. Uh, I did once. Nothing there. B does nothing. So I'm, I'm guessing it's X to summon these guys in, but there might be a cooldown. And I'm guessing they had, do have a little bit of a limit of how long they do stay in the world. But yeah, okay. Um, nope, 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 nope. F. Let's go back to F. So we got 600 into stamina, 2000 into weight, 192.5 into melee, and 100 into movement speed for the Dodo Rex. And let's see these little minions of ours that'll be summoned. Uh, what the frick are they? Oh, they despawned. Okay. Is there a cooldown on this? Uh, X. Okay, so, yes, they do stay in the world for 50-some seconds, which is not bad. But let's see what these guys look like. I mean, I've seen Zomdodos before, but... Look how cool that thing looks. Oh my goodness. And these guys only have two five thousand health. Zom Dodo Minion, level three hundred. So they come out as level three hundred. Huh. 
All right, well, that is the Dodo Rex, boys and girls, and these guys are about to despawn soon, so it doesn't really matter. Next is the Alpha Fire Rifle, which I think there is different other variants. Not one's trying to swim. I only have 19, 18 seconds left. Uh, but we have the Alpha Fire Rifle, which has 12,000 um, in its uh, health. I'm sorry if I looked. Um, if you see at the bottom of its... Uh, Torpor bar it looks like it's empowered. I don't know what that means. I really don't. But let's see. Since you have twelve thousand to your health, but let's look at you, beautiful beast, silly boy. The fire wyvern, boys and girls. The fire wyvern. These things are awesome. We got normal bite. Oh, fire. And of course, to fly. More bite. Fire. X. What the frick? Oh, it's a fireball. No more pickup. Z does nothing. Land your big boy. Yes, that that's a beautiful creature. Uh, Wyverns just came to Narc Ascended, so yeah. I guess it's a good time to do this mod review, I guess, maybe. <laughs> uh, but this thing is so freaking beautiful. I know Wyverns are just awesome as they are. But let's look at its stats. What's if its stats? And again, this thing um, does come with a Wyvern saddle and does act like a mobile smithy, like I said. Um, but we have 400 levels into stamina, 700 into weight, 184.5 into melee, and 120 into movement speed. Ah, um, I think I already said this guy is... Yeah, I already did. I don't know why I would. I, I guess my mind's not rethinking, really but uh, yeah. Okay, next is the Alpha Allosaurus, which looks like empowered. I don't know what that means. Um, but it looks like he has 9.5 thousand into health, which is not that bad. Not that bad. I mean, the Allosaurus is a pretty nice creature as it is. Um, I mean, just look how beautiful this one looks with the yellow and stuff. Oof. I wonder if I'm going to find these things in the wild. We got a regular bite. Uh, nothing for left click. Z, nothing. X does nothing. S space. So, nothing too much. Really just no more regular bite like a vanilla Allosaurus does. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, but what about its stats? We have 250 in the stamina. 1,140 into weight. 184.5 into melee. And 100 into movement speed. Again, like it's like a... Smithy, mobile Smithy. So, yeah, that, that's a really good A plus for this mod. Uh, for a bunch of its creatures, acts like a mobile Smithy. So, yeah. Next, we have the Alpha Carnosaurus. Ooh, you look like a big boy. You look like you're a mean one. You look like you're going to fight somebody. I really don't know what's wrong with me, guys. Uh, but we have six point three thousand into health for this big boy. Or big girl? No, it's a boy. It's a boy. He's a boy. He's a boy. And look at beautiful this creature looks. My goodness. We got a number warrior bite. The headbutt. Uh, nothing for space. Z, X, C, V. And I think I V always does this. I don't know why I press V. Uh, so nothing else for, for this uh, carnal source. But let's look at its other stats. We have 300 levels into stamina, uh, 900 levels into um, uh, weight, 184.5 into damage, and 100 into movement speed. Dang! <clears throat> That's pretty good. That is a pretty good. Am I getting stuck on? Am I getting stuck on you? I think I am. But that is the Alpha Condosaurus. Next is the Alpha. Uh, Thylacoria, which these good boys and girls are freaking awesome creatures. Why is it getting darkish? I really don't know. I guess it's matching the theme of these uh, creatures right here. A little bit, isn't it? Oh, wait, it's, it's going away, it's going away. Uh, but the Alpha um, Thylacoria, we have 10.5 thousand into its weight. Uh, wait, yeah. Health. Now, let's look at this beautiful beast. And of course, Sires can climb on trees by vanilla standards. And I bet this thing can too. It is a modded one. 
but uh, it's still very, very freaking awesome. Very, very cool. We got no more bite. We got nothing right there. Z, X, C. There's no more war. Space bar is the jump. Okay. All basically normal fire things. Um, let's back you up into your little space little bite. And uh, let's look at rest of your stats. So we got 400 into stamina, 600 into weight, 184.5 into melee, and 100 into movement speed. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. So the Alpha Thyre, we're moving on to the big boys. The last few big boys here. And next is the Alpha Trinosaurus Rex. He has 17.5 thousand into health. And again, it says empowered. I don't know what that means, but maybe we'll find out what that means. Like when we do a video, like a complete playthrough of this mod. I really do want to do a pretty complete playthrough of this mod. I know this mod is a pretty old mod, or one of the oldest mods in the game. But still, it's pretty nice to have a mod like this. Uh, but the Alpha Trinosaurus Rex. Yeah. Um. Let's take a look at this big boy. I mean, I don't know if I've said this enough, but I do have a Rex, like, in one of, at least one Rex in each mod review I, mod review I have done. Uh, <laughs> I am sorry for this, guys, but I do love Rexes. Rexes are one of my most favorite dinosaurs in the world. I know everybody's probably going to say this, a Rex is their most favorite dinosaur. Who does not like a Rex? I mean, don't get me wrong, Gigas are awesome, they're big, they're mean. The powerhouses, but Rexes are just so... I don't know. I don't know how to explain this. But, yeah. Uh, the Rex is just a big boy. I mean, it's not as big as the uh, Giga over there, but... Come on now. You can't go wrong for with a good old Rex in your squad. It doesn't matter if you're playing vanilla or you're playing bonded. You must have a, at least one, two Rexes... In your squad in Ark, um, either Ark Survival Evolve, both console and PC version, or maybe even Ark Ascended if you do play Ark Ascended. But still, I would see this big boy's attacks with a normal bite. That never gets old. The nice war. Nothing for space. Nothing for Z, X, C, B, Shift, Alt. So these guys, we don't have any too many special abilities, but they are alphas, so I guess don't expect much out of them. Uh, so let's look at um, other stats. 420 into stamina, 1,500 into weight, 184.5 uh, into melee, and 100 into movement speed. And again, as you can see, each of these cruisers do act like a mobile smithing, which I really do like, especially within the racks. And it's raining in the game. Thank you, Ark. Thank you very much uh, to bring out the rain within the mod review. But still, I like that ability to have my creatures to have a, like a mobile smithy. Uh, this case is like I'm out with a Rex and my armor gets broken and if I have the resources, um, I can just repair my armor in my uh, creature's inventory. That is really awesome. Next though, uh, let's get over the Rex. It looks like we nav next is the Alpha Reaper King. Um, that means it's not tameable, but I tell you what, it is tameable. It is tameable, I bet. Uh, we have 425,000 into its health. And the Reapers are just beast-like creatures as well. Uh, for the Aberration map. I mean, I just... I, I adore the Reapers because they do look more like an ink morph. But look how big and beautiful this creature is. If you guys can see him with this rain going on. It's kind of a little bit darkish out. Well, you can see him. Well, I can see him a little bit, I hope. We got a normal bite. His normal bob attack, which goes everywhere. Space bar, which is a jump. Holy crap. Okay. Was not expecting that type of jump. Like a leap of freaking faith. Now can I get you back in your parking spot? 
Oh boy. <laughs> um, please get back in there. Okay, Rex, can you please stop it? Thank you. Okay, so that is basically all the Reaper's attacks. Oh wait, never mind. No, it was not. What was that? Oh my goodness, we summon in minions? What? X. Okay, was all of that very necessary? And then C for the tail whack. Uh, being us nothing. Alright, so this uh, Reaper does summon in minions. Let's get out of camo. Let's get off the back of the Reaper. And look at these little minions. Uh, level 150. 5.8 thousand tails. Do they have a... Mm, it looks like they... Can I access their inventory? Options, behavior... Um, doesn't look like I can really access their inventories. But, yeah. Oh, there we go. They despawned. So, the alpha... Nope, that's not what I want. Try if it really start raining there, guys. Um, in the game. In the mod review. I hope you guys can really see the Reaper um, King, but the Reaper King does look like a big bad boy. Um, this of aberration, if you, because you don't really get Araxis, the Reapers are your next best choice. And I know there's no Gigas within aberration either, so but it, because you don't get the Rex, Reapers are your next big choice and awesome choice too, because they're just so powerful. The downside about them, you can't breed them. So, you you really have to get yourself pregnated to actually get them by vanilla standards. And I think you have to do it with this mod as well, so I do keep that in mind. Man. Uh, there is some very, very powerful creatures in this mod as well. But yeah, the uh, Alpha Reaper. So, I forgot to show you guys first of its stats, I think. Yeah. Oh, what's this? Uh, Supreme Reaper King Upgrade. Use these upgrade item to enhance your Alpha Reaper King into the Supreme Reaper King. Can only be used in the inventory of the creature. This item only successfully works on a com comparatively, comparatively leveled Alpha Reaper King. It will be consumed on use uh, regular. regular Regardless of upgrade Cecil. Huh. It looks like we need black pearls, diamonds, amateur cluster, uh primordial nocturne, uh physics defense gift, physics of offensive gift, reaper and glands, and reaper pheromone glands. Okay. That is pretty cool. <laughs> I, I like that idea. As far as I'm taking this, you must have the Reaper pretty up, uh, leveled up, but I don't know. Uh, but we have 480 into stamina, 2000 into weight, 224.5 into melee, and 100 into movement speed. And of course, the rain goes away when we're done talking and showing you guys about the Reaper. I hope you guys have really seen everything the Reaper is and can do and all of that. Uh, but dang, that creature is beautiful. Next is the big boy, the Giga Nautosaurus, or the Alpha Giga Nautosaurus. It comes with 140,000 and two health. Oh my goodness. Oh wait, actually the Reaper scene one doesn't have like a mobile smithy. Did, wait, let's go check real quick. Yeah, it, it it's the only creature where he doesn't get a mobile smithy. What was the Giga? Uh... Let's first hop on the Giga, and we'll show you guys this gigantic beast, boy. Yeah, the Giga not the source. Such a monster this thing is, with an arc. Sadly, you can't take these things in vanilla uh, into boss fights, which is pretty dang sad. Uh, I would really, really want to take a Giga within a boss fight, but, uh, you know. At least you could take them into a boss fight on one extinction core 
well, not extinction. <laughs> Real funny tank. Real funny. Uh, I mean, extinction. Um, the map extinction, not the mod extinction core. You get what I'm trying to say, right? If you are got all the DLC maps for the game, uh, you can actually fight all the titans with a Giga. So that's a pretty cool A plus right there. Uh, but let's show you guys what this thing uh, is capable of. I, I do like the red belly, though, and the black, like, top. Like, if you're flying in the sky and it's dark out, you probably won't see this. Maybe you'll probably see the red row, but uh, you probably won't see most of it. I'm going to get a normal bite. I get what you're trying to say there, Reaper. It probably would in, in your eardrums. Uh, nothing for spacebar, Z, X, C. So this thing doesn't really have many special abilities, but it's a very loud creature and very awesome creature. And though um, it is the Alpha Gig and not the Source. And let's check out. And yes, it does have a mobile smithy with its in its inventory. So again, if you if you're a Giga fan, which I know somebody, uh, my friend Reckless, um or Speedy Place, if you're watching this. I know you like your gay guys, but... <laughs> but this thing has around 600 into stamina, around 2,000 to weight, 200... Wait, not 200. 28.9 into melee. Oof, that's less than the Rex and the Reaper over there. And then 100 into movement speed as well. So, yeah, okay. The Alpha Giga Notosaurus. What a beast, the boy this thing is. Wow, that thing's just such a monster. Last but not least is the dragon. And like I said, there's other creatures within the mod, but I'll probably be sitting here forever. It's already going on 46 minutes within the video. Uh, but like I said, there's other creatures within the mod, and there's even some bosses as well for you to fight. Um, but the dragon is the last one we're going to be doing today for this mod, guys. Um... How much health do we have? Well, we have 200,000 health, which is actually the most health we got. Actually, no. That goes to the Dodo Reaper. Ooh, the Dodo Reaper outbeats you, Dragon. And you're just a level 1 as well. Same with the Dodo Rex. I wonder if you summon the minions, because the Reaper summons in minions, the Dodo Rex summons in minions. Do you summon in minions? Ooh, let's, let's go over here and check. Let's go over here and check. And you could also tame a Broodmother. If you really want to as well. Uh, ugly spiders. <laughs> I, I'm not really a spider person. I don't really care for the spiders too much. But uh, yeah. Dragons I do care about. And look at those growing eyes. And the yellow and the wings just makes it look even more cool. It kind of makes you feel like the um, Hobbit movie. With that dragon with it, was hiding in the gold. I forgot his name. Uh, someone's probably going to say his name in the comments down below. But uh, yeah. He has like that yellow glow in his eyes too. Let's see what we got. Fight. Okay. Regular fire. Okay, we can take off. Bite. Fire. C. X. That's a fireball. C. That's a wing attack. Not V. B. Okay, so that's... All the abilities he has. Uh, I'm not sure you can take this guy in the water or not. Come on, get back up here on the, the platform I want you at. Good job. So, yeah, okay. So, can we do the. Okay, yep, yeah, yes, we can. Yeah, okay. Alright, there we go. Now, let's look at this beautiful creature's um, other stats. So we got 900 into stamina, 2,000 into weight, 192.5 into melee, 100 into movement speed. Again, most of these creatures are probably new within the melee. I mean, heck, the Reaper has even more health than the Giga. I mean, they do both. I mean, the Giga does have more than the Rex, but the Reaper does get a damage reduction or at least. The vanilla version does, at least. Can we get bit you back? And this 
wonderful spot I did have you at. Alright, there we go, boys and girls. That is the, the dragon last of the... Well, like I said, there is more creatures, but it will probably take me forever to really just to get all the creatures reviewed and stuff like I normally would. But that is a huge, a good bit of the creatures that you're probably going to find in the world. If you're deciding to really wanting to play with this mod, no, I don't want that. Don't know why I'm putting that up. Uh, but yes, definitely, this is Extinction Core. No, not Extinction, the map Extinction. This is Extinction Core. This is a very old mod, and pretty much a mod that if you're getting... Like, you don't want to play Vanilla Arc anymore, this is the mod for you if you're wanting something a little bit more spicy. Um, just like Primal Fear, Pop Nation, um, you know, mods like that, that really gives you that, even Docs does as well, that excitement to play the mod and just completely be there for the mod and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, this is the Extinction Core Boys and Girls, um, this is the, the, the mod. Um, I hope you guys really did enjoy this because I know. One thing, though, before we do leave, um, what do you think about this mod, guys? Do you like this mod, or does it look like it's going to be something for you to play in the future? At least, maybe. If so, let me know down below in the comments. And do you think this mod is going to be something that you are going to pick up? Um, and stuff like that, guys. If it is, please let me know down below in the comments. I'm sorry, I was just getting a phone call. Uh, but... Yeah, please, let me know what you think about this mod down below. If you like it you, or you don't like it, what would you prefer, vanilla or this mod? Which one there, boys and girls? But that's going to be it for this video there, guys. I hope you guys really did enjoy this video. If you guys did, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe to your channel if you guys want to. And like always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye for now.